here is your start to what's going to be a wonderful week. Hoping that you can enjoy our next half an hour together doing some gentle ballet, uh, which is going to feel lovely. All right. So thank you for all your messages so far. I know for a lot of you, the weather is pretty atrocious. It is here as well. It's cold. It's dark. It's raining. It's windy. But hopefully I'm going to bring you some sunshine. So let's get started. So we're going to have our chair. We're going to start with our right leg. So we've got our hand on the chair. We're going to be in a small V position. So we call this first position if we were doing ballet. And I want us to just take a moment. We're still going to use our Pilates principles. So think of bringing your tummy muscles in. Imagining there's a thread in the top of your head lifting you up. It's almost as if you could float off the ground. And then you're just going to rest your hand on your chair. So try not to grip your chair. Have it there for you, okay? And then we're going to start with plies. So we're going to do demi plie, which is a little bend of the knees. So you're going to bend the knees, bring the arm up, and then take it back down. Again to bend and up. Three and four. So I want you to think nice and graceful with the arms. Five and six. Now we're going to do a releve, which means you're going to lift up onto your toes. You're going to try and bring the arm all the way up and then circle it back down. So we're going to lift up and down. So you're working through your feet, your ankles, your legs, hips and your glutes. Up and down. Up and down. Good. For three. Shoulders down, two, one. Now I want you to hold it here. Bring your heels together so they touch. Try and bring the backs of your knees together, your inner thighs together. Squeeze your bottom. Now you can either stay there or if you want to try the challenge, you're going to see if you can bring your other hand up in the air. So you've got a nice little balance here for three, two, one. And then come on down. Okay, so we're going to point the toe out to the side and then we're going to lay the foot down. Keep your hand on the chair. Now we're going to do this in second position so you can see we're a little wider. So we're going to bend, the arm's going to come out to the side and then we're going to straighten. We're going to bend and up. Three and up. So if you want, follow that hand with your eyes, bend and up, bend and up. So I just want you to breathe naturally today. Don't worry too much about your Pilates breathing. Just focus on the movement. Two, one, and down. Now we're going to do a little releve. So we're lifting up, circling out, up and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Good. Four, four. Three. Two. One. Now hold that position there. So you're just lifting up, not too high. You want those heels just off the ground. Pull your tummy muscles in. This time we're going to bring this arm down and take it out to the side. And then you can either stay there or if you want to try the challenge for balance, so you can bring the other hand off into the same position for three, two, one, and come down. Now we're gonna point this toe and close the foot. So we're now away from the chair, we're not touching the chair. A Little bit of exercise for your arms. You're gonna lift the arms up. This is first position, this is second, and then bring them back down. So we're going first, second, and float them down. Nice and flowing with the arms up and out, and bring them down. Up and out, and bring 
then down two more up and out and bring them down and up and out and bring them down well done let's do all of that on the other side so we're going to get our chair we're going to put it on the other side come back to your first position okay so not too wide let's pull the tummy in tuck your bottom under slightly let's soften the ribs so we're not kind of over tensing in that upper body and hand down here we go so we're going to bend and straighten bend and straighten bend. good just follow along four four and three two and one so we're going to our releve so we're lifting up onto our toes arms going to circle and come down we're going to lift and lower lift and lower so keep the tummy in lift and lower four more four four three two one hold it here now this time i want you to bring the arm down so it's in front of your chest slightly rounded this is the first position arms bring your heels together pull your tummy in and you can either stay there or you can take the other arm off the chair for a balance for four three two one and come down very good let's point the toe and then lower the heel down so we're in our second position again just reset the body draw the ribs in and lower them down slightly and we're going to inhale bend and exhale up so we've got a little bit can you see of movement in the wrist as well so it's a nice way to kind of work the wrist out and down out and out out and down two more and down and out and down so releve we lift the heels lifting up and lower down lifting up and lower down lift and lower lift and lower for four, three, two, one. Now hold it there, take the arm out to the side and think here, rather than having the elbow down, try and lift that elbow up. Okay, now you can stay there or you can bring the other arm away for a balance. For three, two, one one lower your heels now point the toes on this leg and bring yourself back to first position so again you've stepped away from your chair now we're going to lift our arms up and take them out and then we're going to bring them back down so we're going to lift up and out and float them down up and out and float them down good up and up and floating down up and out and floating down one more up and out and float them down well done let's go back to the other side so you're going to point lower the foot you're going to point and close you're going to pick up your chair and switch it back to the first side so we're back into our little V position okay we're going to bring our arm up and we're going to take it out and we're going to try and hold it here if this gets too tiring you can put your hand on your hip okay we're going to do little tom do's so this is what we're going to do a tom do we're going to point and we're going to close and the idea is you slide your foot along the floor and then you start to lift the heel and point those toes as much as you can and then you're going to bring it back and as it comes back you're trying to get your heel down as soon as you can 
And again, with this arm, try not to let this happen. Let's imagine we're being held underneath the bicep there. Okay, so this is gonna be the sequence we're gonna do. We're gonna do one and close, two and close, three and close, little plie and straighten. Now to the side, one and close, two and close, three and close, little plie and straighten. Now to the back, one and close, two and close, three and close, plie and straighten last time to the side and side and side and plie and down. Now you're going to bring the arm down, this time you're going to take it all the way up. Now we're going to do it on two, so we're going to do two tendus, one plie. So you're going to do plie, uh, tendu and close, tendu and close, plie, straighten, bring the arm down and back up to the side, close, point and close, plie and straighten, bring the arm down and up to the back, back, close, back, close, plie and straighten, arm comes down and up to the side, close, side, close, plie and straighten, arm comes down and up. Okay, I'm going to take it back out to the side and we're going to do it once, once in each direction. So here we go, point, close, plie, point, close, plie, point, close, plie, Point, close, plie. Let's repeat to the front and plie. To the side and plie. To the back and plie. To the side and plie. One more time to the front and plie. To the side and plie. To the back and plie. To the side. And plie, well done. Now you're going to point, lower the foot. You're going to point and close. So bring the arms down so you've come away from your chair. Okay, here we go. We're going to lift the arms up. First position, take them out to second. Okay, now your right hand is going up in the air. Now we're just going to swap the arms over. So we're going to go over and over. And over, and over, and over, and over, and over, and over. Open the arm out, bring those arms down. Let's do a point, lower, point, and close. Take your chair. Let's go do all of that on this side. Okay, so here we go. So we're doing three tendus, one plie. All right, so we're gonna bring the arm up and take it out to the side. Here we go. So we're going one and close, two and close, three and close, plie and straighten. One and close, two and close, three and close, plie and straighten to the back. Good. Two, three, and plie to the side. One, two, three, plie and straighten. Well done. Bring the arm down, give it a moment of rest. Now we're going to do two tendus and one plie. Arm is up in fifth position. All right, so we're going to do one, close, two, Close, plie, circle the arm down and back up to the side. One, two, plie, arm comes down and up to the back. One, two, plie, and arm to the side. And one, and two, plie, 
arm up and here. Wonderful. Bring the arm down. Now we're going to do one each way. So let's have the arm up. And we're going to hold it out to the side again. Think of lifting that elbow slightly. So you're going to do point, close, plie. Point, close, plie. Point, close, plie. And point, close again. Forward and plie to the side. And plie to the back. And plie to the side. One more time, to the front, and plie, to the side, and plie, to the back, and plie, to the side, and plie. Well done. Now you're going to point, lower the heel, you're going to point, take the other arm off the chair, and close, bring your arms down, roll your shoulders back for a moment just to release any tension. Then you're going to lift the arms up, take them out to the side, and bring your left arm up in the air. And then we're just going to transfer. So let's keep those shoulders down and we're just swapping from side to side. So we're going to go over and two and three and four and five and six, and seven, and eight. Bring the arms down and float them all the way down. Well done. Now you're going to point, lower the heel, point, and close. Let's take that chair. Let's bring it over to the first side. Okay, so we're going to do a rond de jambe now. So rond de jambe is a lovely exercise for your hips. What I want you to focus on at home is keeping your hips still. So what will happen is we'll take the leg out and we're going to try and draw a semicircle around. And what a lot of people do when they first do this exercise is they let their hips go with it. And that's what we want to avoid. So you only go as far around as you can keep your hips facing forward. Think of car headlights. Yeah, you want them projecting forward. Again, if your arm gets tired, hand on the hip. Otherwise, let's take the arm up and out. So we're going to slide our foot forward, keeping in contact with the floor, and lifting up through your standing leg. Let's do a circle all the way around to the back. And then you're going to start to bring that foot through. Heel comes down, and then you're going to swish it through along the floor. So we're going to go all the way around and bring it through. Hips nice and still all the way around and bring it through. Good. You can probably hear my feet on the floor. So we're trying to draw that lovely semicircle. Think of lifting off that standing leg. All right, and really focusing on keeping the pelvis still too. Good, last one. And we're gonna finish with the leg pointing to the front. We're just gonna bring the arm down, give it a little rest, and then lift it up and take it back out to the side. Okay, we're gonna reverse the direction. So you're gonna take it back this time, out and around, back, out and around, back, out and around back and around good for four and three and two and one come around and then close well done bring that arm down just roll the shoulder back and let's bring that chair come to the other side so doing that on the other side now, so just take a moment to reset. Tum is in, ribs down. Lift your arm up and then take it out. Think of that little hold here. Lift up, think of uh, almost like you're weightless. You want your weight almost floating upwards. So we're gonna slide our foot forward, circle around to the back and then bring it through. Forward, around and bring it through, forward, around, and through. Keep 
going along, so keep following with me. Try and stay on time with me. Four to go. And three. And two. And one. Bring the foot through. Let's bring the arm down for a moment. And lift it up to fifth position, keeping the shoulder down. Now let's reverse, but before we do, let's lift up off that standing leg. Let's pull up internally on those tummy muscles. Let's take the leg back to the side and forward. Back to the side and forward. Back and forward. Slide it back and forward, good. Four, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way around, taking the arm down and then closing back to first. Well done, let's take your chair. Let's take it back to the first side. Okay. So now we're going to do a lovely little swishing move just to free up the hips, okay? So we've done the Tom do. What we're going to do this time is we're going to take the leg forward, but instead of keeping it on the floor, we're just going to lift it up. So it's just going to come up. It's not a kick. It's just off the floor. Then you're going to swing it back and swish it back. Okay, so we're going to swish it forward and swish it back. We're going to bring the arm up, out to the side, and here we go. So we're going forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So just bring up the hip and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, and forward and back. Now hold the leg behind you and then just bring the arm up and see if you can do a little balance here. So we're going to keep this arm in the air. This hand can stay on the chair, or you can bring it forward like so. For three, two, one, point, close, bring the arm down, take them out to the side, and relax for a moment. Let's go do the other side. Okay, so same thing on this side. Let's do a little reset. Thumb is in, arm's gonna come up and out. So it's a tom do, but we're lifting it up in the air. So we're gonna swish it forward and swish it back, trying to point the toes each time. Forward and back, 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 and forward and back. Now hold it behind you there. Draw the tummy muscles in, lift this arm up in the air. You can keep this hand here, or if you want to, bring the hand in front for a little balance. Four, three, two, one foot down, and then we're going to close feet and hands, take the arms out, and come all the way down. Okay, back to the first side. So we've done some swishing, some movements We do uh, of the hips. We do a little movement with the knee now. All right, so what we're gonna do is take the arm up and out. Again, that's gonna stay there. We're gonna swish forward, bend at the knee and touch underneath, release and close. The temptation will be to do this, to lean into your chair very tempting we're going to try and keep the weight on that standing leg so it's a one two three close all right so let's try it one two three and close one two three and close one two three and close one two three keep going for four three two Close, bring the arm down. What do you think is going to come next? It's going to be to the side. This time I want you to bring that arm up, shoulder down. So you're going to swish, two, three, and close. One, two, three, and close. One, two, three, and close. One, 
Two, three, and go. Two, three, and close. One, two, three, and close. One, two, three, and close. Last time. And close. Circle the arm down. Roll out the shoulder. We are going to do it to the back. A little note when we do it to the back is try not to let the knee turn in so the leg will be out. And as you bend it, think of the knee going out to the side. Yeah, and then reaching back. That way you really get lots of good work in your glutes. Okay. So I think we'll have the arm to the front for this one. Shoulder down. Okay, so here we go. Back, bend, reach and close. Swish, then reach and close. Three. Four, standing tall. For four. And close for three. And close for two. And close for one. And close. Bring the arm out. Bring it down. Roll out the shoulder. Well done. So let's go on to the other side. Okay, so think again, lifting up. It's wonderful for the core and the back muscles, this sort of exercise, as well as the obvious. We're working our legs and glutes very hard. Okay, so in our small V, going to lift the arm up. We're going to take it out to the side. Here we go to the front. So we're going to go one, two, three, and close. One, two, three, and close. Swish. So I say swish because I want you to think of that kind of sound. That's what we want the leg to be doing. And close. Up, two, three, and close. Two more. Two, three, and close. Bring the arm down. Lift it all the way up. Shoulders down to the side. Out. And close. Swish out. And close. Up, two, three, and close. One, two. Three and close. One, two, three and close. One, two, three and close. Two more. And one, two, three and close. Let's bring the arm down. We're going to bring it in front. The leg is going to the back. So we're going to go back. Two, three and close. Back. Two, three and close. Back. Two, three and close. Back. Two. Three and close. Four. Three. Two. And one. And close. Well done. Bring the arm out to the side. Let's take the chair and let's just place it back to the first side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn towards it. Okay, we're nearly done. We're just about to finish. So we're just going to do a nice little stretch. So you're going to place your hands on the chair. So put the chair in front of you. Okay, then I want you to be in your small V position. Take your right arm out to the side and then just do a side stretch over to your left. And then lift up and lower down. Left arm out to the side and over and lift and down right arm up and over lift and down left arm up and over lift and down well done and then from there you're just going to bring your feet together take your left foot forward take your right leg back and we're going to do a little stretch for that hip flexor on the right. So I want you to bend your left knee and slide that leg down. Okay, hold on to your chair and just do it until you can feel the stretch in the front of your hips. So wherever that is for you. Okay, just hold it there for a moment. Keep your tummy pulling in. done draw that leg up let's do the other leg so reach it back and gently sliding down good tummies in shoulders down well 
well done. Come on up. And then get your chair and just turn it towards me. I'm going to try and turn it so I'm in the centre. That's it. And get you get to sit on your chair now. So sit on your chair and just bring your right leg up and put the ankle across the knee there. Okay, glute stretch, lovely one to do sitting down. So you're just going to rest your hands here and then you're going to gently press down on this knee, gently, gently. Keep your back straight, but lean forward. And you're going to feel a stretch. Oh, yes. A stretch in your hip, maybe in your lower back as well, maybe in your glutes. You just go to wherever you can. Good, and then switch sides. So switch legs. Here we go. All right, so gently pressing down on that knee. I realize time is up, so this will be our last stretch. And then think of lifting up, hinging at the hips, and just leaning forward until you feel that stretch. It should feel like a sort of stretchy, but a nice release. That's what we want. Well done. And there we go. That's your 30 minute beginner's Pilates, a beginner Pilates, beginner's ballet class today. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was nice for me to do something different with you. So do let me know what your thoughts are on this because I'm happy to do more if you like them. Uh, do press the like button because that really gives me an idea of how popular things are. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And if you need to go, have an absolutely wonderful day and a great week. And if you want to stick around, I'll be on the chat for the next five, ten minutes, okay? So thanks very much for watching. Take care and bye for now. Well done, everyone. So I'm just going to put my chair to one side there. Super duper. And then come and chat to you now. Excuse me, I've just got to blow my nose because I'm full of cold uh, because it's got very chilly here in the UK. Um, but there we go. So thank you so much for joining me. Do let me know if you've got time, what you thought of this, or if you want to do it later, you can post it in the comments down below. Um, but we had uh, 100 people, just over 100 people with us. So that was wonderful. So thank you very much, everyone. Um, a quick update, I did a uh, class on Friday called Pilates for Everybody. That was a 40-minute class, open level. And it was my rescue dog Boo's birthday. And I know there are some other doggies with us today. Thank you for mentioning that. I saw that earlier in the chat. Um, but I had a target of trying to raise £500 for the Dogs Trust, which is a charity that uh, rescues rehabilitate and rehomes dogs in the UK. They're a wonderful charity. And I just wanted to let you know that we hit the target today um, with 504 pounds. That's going straight to them. I don't take any of that money. That goes all to them. Uh, so thank you very much. If you haven't donated yet and you feel you could give a few pounds, then do check out my video from Friday. Please do do the workout. You'll see Boo is in the workout. She's asleep all the way through it. She's my rescue dog. Um, and there's a link if you do want to donate. Obviously, you do not have to, but if you can spare a couple of pounds, a couple of dollars, a couple of euros, that would be wonderful. Um, and then the other thing to let you know is that I put a new playlist up yesterday. So it's November week four, uh, and there are nine videos in there for you to do this week. You do not have to do all of them, of course, but if you want to, you can. I've got a mixture of levels and a mixture of lengths of workouts as well. And I do think about how I put them together to always try and give you some variety during the week. So thank you very, very much. Um, that's all my announcements. And of course, I will be back next week. We shall have a think. But I, the plan um, is going forward that I'm going to do a seniors class every two weeks. Um, because I looked at the votes and there were kind of, it was a mix of sort of 60, just under 60% 
uh, wanted it every week and there was a mixture of people that wanted every two weeks or a month. So I was trying to work out what I feel I can do. And I think the best thing for now is I'll do that every two weeks. So we'll be back again with the seniors in two weeks time. All right. So I'm just going to have a look at your uh, comments. Uh, I really want to see how you got on with the ballet. Oh, I can see lots of great emojis. Um, let's have a look and see what people are saying. Um, Okay, so Patty Smith, good morning, Patty. Thank you very much for joining me today, and thank you very much indeed for your donation. Um, Diane McFadden says, Sorry, got back a bit late, but looks a good session, so I'm going to save it and play it from the beginning later. That's a wonderful. Eleanor Crouch, hello, Eleanor, lovely to have you here. Ellen says, hi, Rachel. Thank you for all your amazing lessons. Can you please do some more resistance band workouts? They are my favorite. Ellie. Yes, Ellie. That's a definite yes. I'll make a little note um, to do more resistance bands. They do feel really good on the muscles, don't they, Ellie? I know that. Um, I feel that myself because we did one recently, didn't we, which was uh, a good one. So I shall make a note. More resistance bands. Thank you, Ellie. Uh, John Scott hi, says hello. Hi to you, John. Lovely to have you here. Daisy says thank you for this. I think you know I love everything bar and ballet. Absolutely, Daisy. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Um, and yes, if you're watching everyone and you quite liked this sort of style of exercise, you can feel like I can feel it now just sitting down. It's very hip and thigh focused. Uh, it's very, very good for that and the glutes. I do have other ones on the channel. You might not have seen them, especially if you've joined me or started following me recently. So if you go back and look at my standing Pilates, standing bar and ballet inspired, those are the three kind of phrases I use. They've all got elements of dancing because that's my background. So for anyone who doesn't know um, a bit about me, whereas I started dancing when I started dance classes when uh, just before my fourth birthday. Um, lots of lots of girls go to ballet. It's quite a it's a rite of passage, I think, for a lot of young girls. Um, but I really, really loved it, and I was completely hooked from the first class. And so I started doing it more often. And by the time I was ten, I was doing three or four classes a week. I was doing lots of exams. I was in the dance club at school. I did shows in local church halls, local theatres. I ended up doing um, going to a stage school, a theatre school, and then working professionally as a dancer in Europe because I'm quite tall. So I didn't get into a ballet company because you have to be a certain height. And I'm I'm five foot eight. Nearly, I was nearly five foot nine. I'm a little bit shorter than I used to be, but um, too tall for ballet. Uh, well, in those days anyway. Um, so ballet and dance, and I, I do ballet, I do jazz dance, I do tap dance. That's my, that's what I love. And I discovered Pilates about 25 years ago and um, really got into that movement because it's quite similar in some ways that it can flow. It's very technical. And so, you know, that's my love is those two things really. And I find the Pilates helps keep me strong for the dance and the dance gives me that kind of that that sheer joy of moving so that's why I try and put those two elements into um, a lot of my standing workouts so if you love dance you like this kind of movement then do check out my other standing workouts I've got cardio bar there's lots of kind of faster elements in that you might like as well right okay daisy thank you so much for that anna mcdougall hi anna lovely to have you here so thanks rachel i started late but i've caught up now lovely class thank you so much anna i know you love the dance um and uh, it's lovely to know that you did that with me today Suda Pinto says, absolutely lovely. Thanks so much for this delightful session. You're very welcome indeed, So Thanks for your feedback. Sandra Moe, hello, Sandra, says, great Monday class. Uh, that's good to hear. Corina Perry says, very enjoyable. And I felt quite graceful until the hip circles. <laughs> okay, that sounds lovely. Well, you know what, Corina? It's all about how you feel 
you know, movement is very much in here, but for me, it's really in here, as in in your heart, is how it makes you feel. And that's what I wanted you to get today, all of you. It's just a sense of feeling graceful, not worrying about what you actually look like, um, you know, just how you feel. Do you feel graceful? Are you enjoying the flow? That kind of thing. So I'm very glad to hear that. Cheryl from Virginia says, I can't believe I am sweating with what seemed like an easy session. Felt good on my cold muscles. Thank you. You're very welcome, Cheryl. Yes, these sessions are often deceptively challenging, aren't they? You probably noticed with me, I was getting out of breath as I was talking. So it does raise your heart rate doing this kind of work. So really glad you enjoyed it, Cheryl. And you feel nice and warm now. That's a good thing. Sue DePinto says, I will say this as a favorite with lots of emojis and ballet shoes. Very glad to hear that, Sue. Well, it's obviously gone down very well. Steph Steven, hello, Steph. Lovely to have you here. Says, super enjoyed this class, Rachel. Steph from Canada. Thank you, Steph from Canada. Lovely, lovely to have you here. Robin Newcomb says, that was nice. Surprisingly tough on the arms just holding them in the one position. Lovely stretches. Thanks, Rachel. You're very welcome, Robin. Lovely to have you here because I know you're here twice a week, aren't you, Robin? So thank you very much. June over in Canada. Hello, June. I hope you're feeling a little bit more uh, ready to go for your week because I know you were feeling a bit challenged this morning. June says, that was lovely, Rachel. Felt good on a cold and dreary Monday. Oh, bless you, June. Thank you. I'm really, really glad to hear that. I did feel the need to kind of rally myself today, I think, with the weather over here and it being so dark and cold. You kind of really need to put that extra bit of effort in, don't you, to kind of lift everyone up. So I'm hoping you all feel a bit lifted uh, today. Seagull. Hello, Seagull, who's over in France, says... Lovely and challenging. Now I feel quite proud of myself for holding out. Well done, Seagull. <laughs> it's really good to hear. Thanks so much, Rachel. Linda Hewitt says, great workout. Thank you from Indiana, USA. Thank you very much, Linda. Lovely to have you here and joining me today. Uh, June says, woohoo, for money raised for the Dogs Trust. Yes, it's really good, isn't it, June, that we hit the target um, I'm so pleased and I'm so um, proud of all of you because it's you that you're, you know, you are why I do this. This is the community that I want to be with. I feel you're my community. We, we lift each other up. We take care of our well-being. And I'm always kind of uh, motivated by trying to help you and to to get those donations for the rescue dog charity has just been so wonderful so thank you very very much indeed uh, Caroline Ritchie says I came in late and we'll play this later it brought back wonderful memories of my ballet classes years ago thank you oh bless you Caroline I'm really glad to hear that yeah I think when you've done ballet you never really forget do you it's um it's a lovely thing to do at any age, which is why I'm trying to bring it back for people like myself who are at uh, not at sort of young ballet age, but the older, more mature uh, ballet age. And I want everyone to enjoy, just enjoy the movement of it. Uh, hi, Rachel. Do you know any exercises for a sore heel. I says John Scott, but I think that might be Una, I'm not sure. Uh, sore heel. Yes, I do. Uh, not so much exercises. You need stretches. And I'm looking around because I'm trying to find my ball, but I haven't got it here. What you want to get is you want to get a tennis ball or a trigger point massage ball um, because you've got soreness under the heel. It's probably that you've got tightness in the muscles under there and you want to kind of massage them out. And I can't find anything to demonstrate with, but essentially... What you want to do is where you've got that soreness, put the ball underneath and just press down and roll around. Yeah. So you're kind of uh, it's sort of massaging out all the fascia in the feet. You'd probably be really wise to do a calf stretch as well. So anything with the uh, uh, toes coming back. 
that will also be very good for you. What I would recommend is if you look at my video called Treat Your Feet, it's on this channel, it's focused on trigger point massage for the feet using a small ball. You can use a golf ball or a tennis ball if you haven't got a, a massage ball. Massage balls are quite hard and they're sort of like the size of a tennis ball. Uh, you also need like a little towel and that will also help. So go and have a look at treat your feet and that will help. It's a really good one to do as well if you've got plantar fasciitis. So do go check that out. Uh, right, so going down the chat, uh, Barbara Lauventhal, hello to you. Barbara says that was super fun. I enjoyed the flowing movements. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, Barbara. Really glad you enjoyed it. Sarah Runnicles, hi, Sarah. Sarah says, I know why I didn't do ballet. Coordination all over the place. We'll have another practice. Find I drop down into the supporting leg. Need a higher chair, me thinks. Thank you. Yeah, that will probably help you, uh, Sarah. You kind of want your chair. Can you see how I'm doing this with my arm? You want to be able to rest your hand on the bar and always have it slightly forward of the body. So when you're resting on your, I say bar, chair, you don't want your arm back here. That can also make you sink in. You want to bring your hand forward of your shoulder and you kind of want the hands more or less hip level, level with your hip. Um, obviously, we can't all have a chair that works that way, but that's kind of the ideal if you can do it. Uh, and yes, sinking into the standing leg is very common. Um, it was very, it's very common for everyone because you kind of start to get tired and we all have a habit of doing this, don't we? Me included. And that's where you use your core because you've got to think of pulling up. And the minute you pull up, you're working your core on the side all the way through the waist. You think of bringing yourself up. So you're separating or creating space between the hips and the bottom of the ribs. And that way you'll also really work your standing leg. That will make your glutes work a lot harder as well. So uh, something to think about, Sarah, when you go and do it again, but well done for trying, that's excellent. Uh, John N says, thanks, Rachel. Love the ballet bar inspired workouts. Liz from Oklahoma. Hello, Liz in Oklahoma. Thank you very much indeed for that. Do go check out my other ballet inspired workouts. There's quite a few on the channel. I haven't done any for a while. So if I get lots of good feedback on this, then I may well do another one sooner rather than later. So do let me know in the comments. And again, if you like it, let me know by pressing that thumbs up button, because that really gives me feedback. Because what I do is I'll go back and look at all the videos and think, oh, I had so I have more likes on that one than the other one. Maybe I should do another one of those. And that's kind of how I work out what I'm doing each week. OK. Um, OK, Martine de Kerpel. Hello, Martine. Martine, I know you've sent us an email, so I will respond if we haven't already. Um, says, I'm looking forward uh, cooking now, but I'm very fond of ballet. Oh, you're going to do it tomorrow, Martine. Brilliant. Do let me know what you thought. Uh, Rena Potter in Toronto. Hello, Rena. Good morning to you. Rena says, this one lured me in to do a live class for the first time. I haven't done ballet for 55 years since I was 10, and this was just perfect. Thank you. Rena, I'm so happy to hear that. That is just lovely. That's just really great. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. It sounds like this is definitely a, a, a session we need to do more of. So maybe I need to bring you more of these ballet inspired workouts alongside our Pilates. I do think the mix of the two is really, really good. So maybe we'll try and do a little bit more of it. Um, it is just lovely. And as my husband said, it's lovely to hear. So thank you for that. Um, Esther. Hello, Esther. Esther says, at this moment, I have some sciatica pain. Can I still do light Pilates exercises? The pain in my leg, especially when I sit. So Esther, um, with sciatica, I would say we need to move cautiously because what we don't want to do is make it worse for you. 
So what I would recommend, Esther, is if you go, uh, when you go onto my channel, I do have a workout that is specifically for people who have sciatica. So I would recommend you do that one because I've, the whole framework of that is taking on board the, your, the specifics of the condition of sciatica. So there are no exercises in there that will aggravate it or make it worse. What we, uh, what we find in Pilates is uh, we do have a lot of flexion in Pilates, meaning flexion uh, going in this direction of the lower back. And that will most certainly, that movement will most certainly aggravate your condition. So you don't want to be doing any of the Pilates uh, um, videos. I would specifically go to the Pilates for sciatica on my channel. And I've also got, if you want to work your core, I've got a 20 minute Pilates, which says uh, 20 minute core workout, safe for disc issues. And that one is also safe for you to do. It won't exacerbate your sciatica. So what I would recommend is do those for a few weeks and see how you feel. And when you start to feel the symptoms, like the pain in the leg, when it starts to come further up the leg, as if that means the pain, that means it's improving and the inflammation is going down, then you could gently look at one of my, uh, you could go look at one of my gentle Pilates classes. You might think also about considering Esther doing some of the standing work because that won't aggravate it either. Um, so like we did today, we didn't do any kind of flexion forward. So this sort of thing is quite good if you've got sciatica. It gets the legs moving, gets the hips moving, but it doesn't compress on that sciatic nerve. So um, I hope that helps you, Esther. Wonderful stuff. Well, everyone, I'm going to pop off now. I do want to say a huge thank you to Lisa Kay, Seagull, Sarah Ranicles, Cheryl in Virginia, uh, Patty Smith, for your donations for today's session. Thank you so, so much. As always, it's really appreciated. And uh, yes, we'll be back next week for another session at 4.30 UK time, which I know for many of you is in the morning. And then until then, don't forget, we've got our playlist out this week for you to do. We've got another session coming up on Friday. And if you haven't already, have a look at last Friday's session with my little doggy Boo, uh, which was our fundraiser for the Dogs Trust charity. All right, so all I'm gonna say now is have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.